Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I uh, actually wasn't expecting to be here today to make this video. Well, I was planning on doing videos. Uh, never mind. Something, uh, I have some unusually good news today. As uh, you're probably aware, Donald Trump has been facing some legal problems. Now, this is good news, assuming that, uh, you know, you support Donald Trump. But it does feel good, whoever you are, to see people get kicked in the, well, n never mind. So Donald Trump, as you know, he was supposed to be losing his buildings and property this week because of the, the thing with Letitia James. And, uh, well, he got the, uh, the bond reduced so that he was no longer in danger of losing his properties like Trump Tower. And then on top of that, he went and made a billion dollars in a day. I mean, this guy. You, you, you think that, you know, he's down and out, they've got him, you know, and the next thing you know, he's like done some kind of weird backflip. And you know, anyway, he, he's the incredible, incredible story uh, here with it. It's tied to his true social platform. Anyway, we're going to be talking about that in just a second. So stick around. Ah. <clears throat> Thanks for sticking with us. So if you're wondering how this happened, so there was a merger between Donald Trump's uh, Truth Social and some other media company. And the the new ticker, I guess, for the stock is DJT, you know, like Donald J. Trump. And I guess it, it shot up and soared uh, as much as 50% in value, not dropping 50%, gaining 50%. Uh, so that uh, the Truth Social as it exists now is now worth around $8 billion as of the time of recording this. <laughs> $6 billion or uh, is it five, 5 or $6 billion of which is uh, basically owned by Trump. He can't sell the stock or do anything uh, at the moment. I think it's for like six months, something like that, uh, which doesn't matter. He's got, you know, a lot of money on the books. Now, that is something that the uh, the media is talking about i've got this uh this article here you know other other news outlets even on uh, yahoo news they're saying you know like oh you know it's just telling you the facts of like okay he's you know it made all this money it did really really well but then you go to cnn i i can't believe that cnn is still doing this that they're still you know you can feel the hatred that this uh this the author of this uh so-called article wrote uh, in his writing. It's absolutely crazy. It's a Trump's DJT stock creates a unique new ethical nightmare. And uh, what what ethical nightmare is is that exactly? I, I don't know, because he doesn't say in the article. As uh, we get into this, it says, the newly public company trading on the NASDAQ with the ticker DJT has one dominant shareholder, Donald John Trump, the cash-strapped former president of the United States, that a fledgling unprofitable social media platform can make the former president billions of dollars on paper remember it's on paper is a marvel of the stock market trump can't realize the with windfall by selling his shares or borrowing against them for six months unless the company's board which is packed with his supporters gives him the okay yeah, like I said, you can uh, you can feel the hatred that this guy has for Donald Trump. It's like, you know, not only did he not lose his buildings, but he goes and makes a billion dollars or something, and this guy's just, he's losing it. He's losing it. He can't handle it. They should fire him, just like they fired everybody else from CNN, for doing such a terrible job. I mean, this is supposed to be, uh, what, the analysis by Zachary B. Wolf. Well, Zachary B. Wolf, you're, you're a moron. Oh, oh, and, you know, we can't just talk about uh, Donald Trump and his uh, his stock doing well here. We have to include in this that uh, Donald Trump has a history of bankruptcy. Another note of caution for investors in DJT. Should the history of the last company Trump took public, Trump's casino, oh, yeah, he goes into, this is ridiculous. A new meme stock, too. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, it's one. It's a good brand at this point. If you've got Donald Trump's name on it, uh, more than half the country probably loves it. And they're probably going to buy it just because. Hey, I want to own a piece of Donald Trump. Well, no, I'm not saying that I personally want to own a piece of Donald Trump, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that would be interested in doing this. He ought to throw in like, hey, if you buy a certain amount, you can have one of those uh, those red caps as well. Who is invested? Let's see. In the case of Trump, the stock could be inflated by his supporters. 
although the inverse could also be true. If Trump unloaded his stock, it could plunge in value because his brand would no longer be associated with it. The top institution investor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this guy. Wow, you know, so much hate. Not only directed at Donald Trump, but also directed at you and me. If you happen to support Trump, then, boy, this guy at CNN, he's really, really hating on you. It'd be nice if they'd just report the news, but they just can't do that, you know? I mean, this, I can feel the hatred. It's kind of like that uh, that line from Star Wars, I can feel your hatred. Yeah, give in to your anger, something like that. Uh, except that this guy, I don't think that even the emperor would be, he would definitely not be interested in having him uh, work with him. <laughs> Just be like, go away, get out of here, you're ruining my brand. You know, uh, let's see, clear ethical issues. And then it goes on after that to say that the president is exempt from ethics law. So I guess there isn't a clear ethical issue. And I'm not sure what the ethical issue would be. Let's see. If Trump wins the White House again and a company bearing his initials are available, it could obviously be a venue for investors to curry favor. It would be an unprecedented situation, although not dismissal, uh, dissimilar to what happened when Trump was president. So it's not different at all than anything in the past because Trump had companies at that time that he divested himself from. I'm... Um, Hmm. Oh, interesting. So, again, I, he says there's an, an ethical problem here, and yet there there isn't. He's not the first president to have owned companies and stuff. I don't know what this is. What is he saying? You know, that um, if you're the president of the United States, you're supposed to be a poor guy. Well, that's never happened before. So... I don't expect it to be the case now. Um, he's certainly, like I said, not the first president to be a rich guy with his own companies. Um, I guess, was it, uh, you know, a, a problem back then, too? Uh, I I don't think it was. Um, but, yeah, according to that, it's just his hate. He just can't take it. Oh, my gosh. They thought they had him. They thought they had him. They were going to take his buildings. They were going to take Trump Tower. And the next thing they know, he's made a billion dollars in a day. He's got his name or his initials, you know, trading on the stock market and making money. He's, oh, my gosh. This is just, ah, this, uh, this Zachary B. Wolf guy. Oh, my gosh. This is, oh, his uh, Trump maggots oh my gosh I, i'm sure that he's just absolutely livid over there but i you know i was surprised the other ones you know they didn't uh take the time to say all that weird stuff about uh and he's had all these bankruptcies and all this no they're just talking about the uh the stock and that you know it's like like a competitor for twitter and you know donald trump created it after getting kicked off of those platforms they really stuck to the facts so i can say uh Alexandra Canal, from what I can read here, what I have read, um, good job. Not that anybody cares about me giving, you know, my, my grades or anything to any of these uh, people. Uh, here we have the Associated Press. Trump's social media company at gains in its first day of trading on NASDAQ. Yeah, you know, that that's exactly what happened. I'm not seeing any of the stuff about, you know, his previous bankruptcies or, you know, the, the supporters are holding it up. Man, his supporters must have a lot of money to be uh, to be doing that. I don't know. <laughs> his, his, what can I say? I mean, it did really well. At the end, it was at uh, fifty-seven and ninety-nine cents for you know a share. If you're interested in buying, I don't sell stocks, so you can't buy it from me. You'd have to go to your broker or something, or Robin. I, I don't know. Can you buy it on Robinhood? Probably not. Probably, I don't know. I don't buy stuff on Robin Hood, so I, I have no idea how that works. But it, just the same, you know, uh, there it is. He, you know, he turned it around. He did really well. And they just can't take it. And maybe you can't take it either. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> laughing about it, you know, that guy, the, uh, Mr. Wolf here, Zachary B. Wolf. Oh, ethical nightmare. Uh, bankrupt. Oh. Yeah, I did Trump derangement syndrome stuff. Just can't take it. Losing his mind. Losing his mind. Now, I don't know if the stock is going to continue to do well because I don't, you know, analyze the stock market. But um, 
yeah, you can decide if you want to join in the fun and buy some shares in, you know, Donald J. Trump, his uh, media company. I just, uh, this is what I love. I, you know, I, uh, these people, like I said, they're just gloating over the, oh, 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 we got him, we got him. And then boom, it just blows up. It just, uh, it gone. Their, uh, their victory has been washed away. $175 million dollars. After being reduced from $450 million and suddenly he's made a billion dollars in a day. I'll leave it at that. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Uh, this is just my take on it. I'm, uh, I'm me and you know how that is. So let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one.